Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're just having a series of uh, Bible studies today. I'll be going. Uh, I'm going to be uh, lecturing and preaching on this channel uh, from now on, and I'm going to be posting lectures, uh, theology lectures, pastoral lectures on Samuel Zuma Theological Seminary. So, if you want to get in the Word and you want training, uh, please come on board and. I trust that the Lord will bless you. Hope you're okay. So let's come before the Lord and get into the Word. We'll do a, a 10 to 15 minute section, then we'll go on to the next section, then the next section. Okay, let's come before the Lord. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your love and your grace. We give you the prayers and the glory. Father, we just pray for these uh, short studies that you bless them, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. We're going to be looking at Psalm 34, and we're going to be looking at your brokenness. So, uh, if you'd like to turn to Psalm 34, and um, I'll read the first uh, five verses, but we'll be going through the psalm. So, it says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he answered me, he delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, their faces are never covered with shame. Just got my notes here. I know a lady who is 80 years of age and she has a sister, and her sister um, lived with, with her till she was 80 and then she passed away and this sister now who is on her own uh, in her 80s is still after three years of losing her sister finding it difficult and you know sometimes we can go through brokenness and it can last a long time and we can find it difficult to go forward in this psalm um, David is in great extremity if we turn to 1 Samuel 1 Samuel 21 um, verse 13 and 15 we read so he feigned insanity in their presence and while he was in their house he acted like a madman making marks on the doors of the gate and letting saliva run down, run down his beard. So David had run away uh, from his enemy. He got to the city and the king found out David was in the city and David then pretended to go mad in order that the king would let him go. And you know sometimes we can suffer so much that we can even go into the realm of madness. Some people's grief some people's loneliness, some people's pain can go beyond reason and we can go into a realm of madness. Psalm 72 verse 2, 77 Psalm 77 verse 2 says, When I was in distress I sought the Lord, at night I stretched out untiring hands and my soul refused to be comforted sometimes we can be like that sometimes we just have an endless suffering and it seems as if there's no hope in sight but there is hope Psalm 41 verse 1 to 3 blessed is he who has regard for the weak the Lord delivered him in times of trouble the Lord will protect him and preserve his life he will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desire of his foes just checking the time. The Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. And the Lord is gracious, and you might have suffered a long, long time, but the Lord is with you, and he'll help you, and he will comfort you. So first of all, uh, in your brokenness, praise God. In your brokenness, uh, praise God. There's a, a chaplain a uh, retired chaplain that I know and he got he, he lost his wife uh, he was in his 70s and his wife passed away he was living in the house uh, in, in this house uh, 
uh, with his wife and then his wife passed away but two doors up uh, he got to know a lady and he, he married another lady but the old house he lived in he left it just as it was with his old wife and you know he was living in the past and he realized he had to sell the house and, and live with this new wife that he had and sometimes we can be living in the past in our brokenness we can be going over and over our past failures or our past brokenness but you know sometimes it's time uh, well it's time to move on we we don't want to be a, 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 an emotional hippopotamus you know the hippopotamus uh, goes in the mud and just wallows in it well you weren't made to be in a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus you weren't made to wallow in the mud you were made for better things in your brokenness you can go on and on about it 24 7 week in week out year in year round the pattern of brokenness has to be broken and we do that by praise David in his brokenness praises God so in your brokenness praise God Psalm 34 1 to 3 it says I will extol the Lord at all times his praise will always be on my lips my soul will boast in the Lord let the afflicted hear and rejoice praise God in your brokenness praise him for the salvation that you have praise him for all the good things in your life and as you praise him your brokenness will be begin to fade away and you begin to have that joy again Charles Spurgeon says happy is he whose fingers are wedded to his heart happy is he whose fingers are wedded to his heart and Mr Bradford um, we read these words uh, a reformer uh, Mr. Bradford says this about this psalm I will bless the Lord at all times Mr. Bradford a martyr speaking of Queen Mary at whose cruel mercy he then lay said if the Queen be pleased to release me I will thank her if she will imprison me I will thank her if she will burn me I will thank her so said the believing soul let God do with me what he will, I will be thankful. And Mr. Bradford was martyred, and yet he was thankful and praising God. And that's the way to deal with our brokenness today, is to start praising God. And that will lift our spirits and realize that, that God is over our brokenness. So let's just turn to Psalm 150. Psalm 150, just checking time. I'll have to write, if I haven't written the titles to this study, it's because I have someone downstairs I've got to look after, so I'll have to do that later today. So don't think I'm neglecting putting a title to this study. Uh, Psalm 150, uh, verse 1 to 6. Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heavens, praise him for his acts of power, praise him for his surpassing greatness praise him with the sounding of the trumpet praise him with the harp and lyre praise him with the tambourine and dancing praise him with the strings and flute praise him with the clash of cymbals praise him with the resounding cymbals let everything that has breath praise the Lord praise the Lord don't reflect about what you haven't got I haven't got this I haven't got that don't reflect on the pain reflect on God reflect on him reflect on his majesty and his power his love and his glory think about God in your suffering if you want to study a bit more about praise Psalm 24 verse 8 to 10 but let's go to Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 Colossians 3 16 it says let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom and as you sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God I know it's hard I know the pain's hard I know you're broken I know you're struggling I know it's lasted for a long time but as you begin to praise God as you begin to think about Him and worship Him and thank Him for all that He's done for you that brokenness will begin to turn to sweetness rather than bitterness I promise you Okay, that's our first part of our study today. And I'm going to try and do another section 
and then another section I have a guest downstairs I, I've only got a few minutes and then I've got to go down and look after my guest but uh, hopefully we can get one more study uh, this morning and um, so let's see if we can do that okay so I'm going to close in prayer and let's just pray Lord help us to praise you in our brokenness it's not easy Lord but Father we know that you're a good God and I pray for the dear soul today that's broken listening to this word Father may it help them and strengthen them and may they know your love and comfort in Jesus name Amen I hope that's been a blessing to you and we've got three more sections on this about in your uh, your brokenness that's the title of the the whole study and we've looked today in your brokenness praise God okay thank you for listening take care